Today's Morning Minute, Kingdom Living, Seeing. Many people are just looking. They're seeing with their eyes, but are blind spiritually. And we read in John chapter 9, verse 39 in the Amplified. Then Jesus said, I came into this world for judgment as a separator in order that there may be a be separation between, between those who believe on me and those who reject me to make the sightless see, and to make those who see become blind. Those who believe have spiritual eyes through the Holy Spirit living in them. Those who reject Jesus as Lord have only physical sight. Jesus calls those who reject him blind. Are you just looking at Jesus or do you see his presence? power, and goodness? Do you see his wonders? Do you see his creation, transformation, redemption, and miraculous work? Do you see his righteousness living in you now through the Holy Spirit? If you're just looking, you'll not see. If you don't see, then you're just looking. You'll get what you see. What are you seeing? What are you seeking to see? Moses asked the 12 spies to go into the promised land to see, to see what the land was like. What did they see? The land had already been promised to them. It was their land. They brought back the fruit of the land and reported to Moses that the men are giants. The walls of the cities are fortified. They're seen, they're seen as grasshoppers. The 10 spies were just looking and saw the giants, the walls and the fruit. They did not see what the two, what two of the spies, in particular Joshua and Caleb, saw, which was the promised land. Caleb and Joshua had witnessed God's provision during the 40 years in the wilderness. They trusted God with their entire heart and did not question or doubt God. They knew God was their provision. They knew the promises of God. And we read in, in Numbers chapter 13, 31 through 33. But the men who had gone up with him, we can't attack those people. They're stronger. They're stronger than we are. And they spread among the Israelites a bad report about the land that explored. They said the land we explored devours, devours those living in it. And all the people we saw there are of giant size. We call them Nephilims, the descendants of Anak come from the Nephilim. We seemed, we seemed like grasshoppers in our own eyes, and we looked the same to them. What is your report about the land? Are you just looking, or do you see yourself as redeemed, loved, forgiven, approved, accepted child of God? Are you walking in the promises of God? Are you trusting Him with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength? Are you looking at your circumstance and seeing God in the middle of the circumstance? What you see is what you get. David did not see the giant Goliath. He saw a man cursing God. David knew God was righteous and all-powerful over wickedness and evil in the land. David was a man after God's own heart. Are you just looking or do you see? What you see is what you get. Kingdom living is seeing. Amen and amen.